Alright guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to download the latest version of Microsoft Office. But before I begin, um, if you guys can please give me a like and a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. Alright guys, so back to the video. So today I will be showing you guys, giving you a very simple tutorial on how to download Microsoft Office. So it's a really easy step by step, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started and you guys just follow along all right first so first things first what you're going to want to do is open up a web browser and in the link below i'm going to have a link for you to click on to download the version of the microsoft office that we're going to be downloading today and i already have it saved to my desktop so I have the 32-bit and the 64-bit setup. We're going to be doing the 32-bit for this tutorial. It's going to meet you with a uh, possible virus screen, but you don't have to worry about that. I tried this dozens of times on um, different computers. There's no malware or viruses with this download it all so you can go ahead and click download anyway all right and in the corner you're going to want to save this file it's going to appear up in your downloads if you're using um, firefox all right and when that's finished you're going to go ahead and open that up and start the setup click yes In a few moments, it's going to start um, installing to your hard drive. There it is. So we're going to give this a couple of moments. I'm going to speed through this um, process to when it's done, but it should take about uh, two to three minutes to download on your computer. All right, perfect. So once that's finished, it'll say you're all set. Office is installed now. So now that you have the office, you can go ahead and close this out. And now what you're going to want to do is um, very important. You're going to want to go to your start menu and type in Windows Security. Mine already popped up. And you're going to go ahead and click on Virus and Threat Protection. Scroll down to virus and threat protection settings and click on manage settings. And temporarily, you're going to go ahead and disable this, the real time protection. You're going to turn this off for about two minutes. Click yes. All right. And this just gives the activation key time to load into your system. So now, what you're going to want to do is there's going to be a third link um, in the description below. You're going to copy that and put it into the browser. All right, so what you're going to want to do next is copy all of this information here. Hit copy. All right, and then you're going to want to open up a new document. Well, a text document on your desktop. So open that up. And from there, you're just going to paste what you just copied from that link I provided with you. All right, so next, you're going to save this file, save as. Very important, you're going to want to type 1.cmd and switch to save as type to all files. All 
All right. And once you're done with that, you can go ahead and minimize this now. And this is going to be the new um, document that you just saved. So from there, you're going to right click. And then you're going to click right here. Run as administrator. Yes. And then it's going to take about one to two minutes. This is the reason that we have to disable the security because without this, it wouldn't um, activate the key for the Microsoft Office. So this takes about two to three minutes to activate your key for the office. And then from there, you're just about good. Initially, it's going to say fail, but give it a couple of seconds. There we are. If you see right here, it says product activation successful. All right, now you can go ahead and close out of this. All right, so now that the activation key has been registered, you're going to want to go back to your Windows security and turn that back on. There we are. Open that back up and turn your real time protection back on. Don't want to leave that off too long. All right. And then from there, going to just want to refresh your desktop. And you can also close out of this as well. I'll get to that later. All right, and from there, you can go ahead and launch your Microsoft Word. Get to that later. So I already had the Word on my computer, but um, what you're going to see is it's going to ask you to accept those um, licenses. You'll accept the license and then you're going to scroll over to account. All right, and in here, it'll show here that your product has been activated. All right, and this would be the Microsoft Office Professional Plus 2016 version, fully free of charge. And this is uh, specifically for educational purposes only. And this will be good for a lifetime as well, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please remember to give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content.